In this video, we'll place an SVG file and text on a curved surface. I'm going to accept the default of 10 millimeters for the radius of this cylinder, and then import an SVG. I'm bringing it in as a solid, but you can bring it in as a sketch or a solid. So there it is, and now I'll have to scale it down going to type in a number and I'll be left with the smaller solid and the larger sketch. I'll delete the sketch. If you brought in the SVG sketch you'd have to extrude it into a solid to work with it. So now I'm just going to rotate the file and then snap it to the cylinder. Click on the magnet, click on the file and on the cylinder, and it snaps. It came in upside down, but I can fix that with the move tool. Now it needs to be scaled down a bit more. I'm going to push-pull it wider so that it'll work better. Now I'm going to intersect it with the cylinder. Now I have to make another cylinder, this one with a hole. I'm going to bring in a circle and make it 12 millimeters and then extrude it up. Doesn't matter how high and then snap another circle on top of it that's 10 millimeters which is the same side as the circle as the cylinder with the heart on it. Now I'm going to extrude the smaller cylinder and I'm left with this cylinder with a hole in it. I turned off the sketches because I don't need them. Next, I'll move this cylinder over to the first one and I need to line it up. Setting the view on orthographic makes this easier. Return to perspective. And now I need to move that cylinder I just made up. Finally, I will extrude it down, not move it or push-pull it, but extrude it. I click Extrude from the menu at the top, click on the cylinder face, extrude it down, and you see I'm left with a sketch on the cylinder, and I'll just delete this remaining part of the heart. Now this works the same way for text. I'll type some text. Then rotate it. I'll edit it down, scale it down a bit. I just typed another number to make it smaller. Extrude. I'll turn off the sketches again. And now I'll move it over to the cylinder.
finesse the location. Make sure the letters are intersected with the cylinder and now move the hollow cylinder over. Make sure both cylinders are lined up. That looks good. Move the second cylinder up. And then extrude it down. And there you have it. Just need to delete the remaining letters.